Hi friends. So today is the day that we welcome Scorpio. The sun moves into Scorpio at 514 Pacific time and we are diving in. Scorpio is the sign of struggle. It's uh, if there's a phrase associated with Scorpio that says <clears throat> test, trial, triumph, and also strength, struggle, and Sagittarian attitudes. So test, trial, triumph. Yes, in Scorpio, we are tested. In Scorpio, we have to hold fast. In Scorpio, we have to dive in and commit and hold tight and not let go and be willing to face our own darkness and be willing to even face the darkness outside of our little selves and work to transform that, work to bring it into the light. Scorpio is ruled by Mars and Pluto, okay? So Mars, of course, is the warrior planet. Mars is willing to fight the good fight. Mars is willing to look at the depths and the darkness and willing to struggle to, to bring transformation. Pluto is the planet of death and rebirth. Pluto brings healing at its best. So Pluto wants to uh, subtly move into the darkness and expose it to the light of day. It wants us to shed. It wants us to let go of what doesn't serve us. It wants to get to the heart of the matter. So we're not dancing about. It's not a happy, gorgeous little field of flowers in Scorpio. It's a time when we really face ourselves. We face our own limitations. We face our own darkness. We face our own obstacles. And we say, you know what? I am going to be on trial here. I'm tested here. I'm going to be on trial here. And I'm going to emerge triumphant. The phrase for Scorpio is warrior am I and from the battle I emerge triumphant. So what is your war this month? You know, what is your struggle this month? Uh, the Tibetan Jual Kool says, if you don't have a spiritual crisis, then get one, <laughs> which I love. So what is the crisis that needs to be attended to within your being? And how can you wrestle what is unconscious or what is uh, ruling you unconsciously? How can you wrestle that into the light? This is the question. Now, it's interesting because as the sun moves into Scorpio today, the chart of the moment that it moves in is really powerful. Um, Saturn is sitting right next to the sun, which, and, and by the way, Saturn has now moved into Scorpio. So there is um, a growing up that wants to occur around our own negativity. There is a, a maturing influence and a steadfastness and a commitment to overcome some of the... Um, most emotional chaos in our system. So Saturn stands in Scorpio and says, let's face this, let's face the darkness. So as the sun moves into Scorpio, Saturn is sitting right next to it. So there's an incredible commitment to transformation. And at the same time, uh, Uranus is sitting over at, 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 at the ascendant where Aries is rising. So there is a great desire to dive in and to wake ourselves up. And clearly, you know, this has to go on in our world right now, where we dare to be awakeners, where we dare to stimulate consciousness. And sometimes when we're in Scorpio, we have to fight for the light, we have to fight for consciousness. And of course, we're getting so close to the election, and all of this is going to be at the fore, forefront. Um, and the other piece that I just want to mention about this moment that the sun is moving into Scorpio is that also Neptune in the heavens is making a beautiful trine to the sun today. So there is a potential, even as we are making commitments to face habitual behaviors that need to be let go of, as we're making commitments to face our own negativity, Neptune, which is the god of transcendent love, is offering her gifts, his gifts of, of um, sensitivity, imagination, intuition, uh, a, a rawness and an availability of, of unconditional love. So that's, that's quite helpful. So 
as we move into Scorpio, we get to commit at a whole new level to our transformation, to our unfolding, to what we want and know is good for ourselves and what we want to give. So Scorpio gets us in there and says, let's do this thing. Let's not stay in indecision any longer. The choice must be made. The, the grappling must occur. So it's, it's always uh, an exciting month. It's always a, a, a somewhat difficult month. It's always a month where triumph is possible. So, so face it, address it, come full to the fore with it, um, and pay attention to what wants to see the light of day in you, what wants to be spoken about, what wants to be brought into consciousness, what wants to be transformed and do everything in your power to, to allow that transformation to occur. So remember the phrase, warrior am I, and from the battle I emerge triumphant. Have a great, committed, deep, transformative month. Thank you.